You guys wanna know the, the problem with tanks at the moment? Tanks are incredibly OP. They're incredibly OP, okay? Yeah? You, like, anyone can 1v4 with tanks, you know? But the problem is the bruiser role. So why is the bruiser role a problem? The bruiser role has access to um, the best tank tank killer items, right? So mages have what? Leandria and Void stuff. And AD carries have Lord Dominic's and Kraken Slayer. Well, bruisers, they have one black lever which is very very OP. Two, they have Divine Sunderer, and then they also have like Sorelia's Lord Doms if they want, and then they also have Blade of Rune King. But that's not the problem. Okay, so one class has access to more tank beating items than another class. Th that's not the big problem. The big big problem is Bruisers as a class naturally counter tanks. So you have this thing where you're doubly doubling down. Every Bruiser in the game counters tanks. Camille true damage, max health damage, uh, Darius true damage, Nar max health Max of damage, Gangplank, Armor Pen, Gwen, Max of True Damage, Irelia, every single Bruce is the same story basically. So you have a class who naturally beats tanks, and then with the most uh, tank killing items as well, and then with runes, they have the best of beating tanks as well. So you have all these sources of beating tanks put into one class. Well then you get into, into a game state where a tank, okay, a tank then has an easier time 1v2, 1v3-ing the enemy team than he has beating a bruiser in a 1v1. Does that make sense? Like there's a lot of a lot of these games when I play Sion or, you know, Volley Bear, Tank Volley. I have an easier time beating enemy bot side and, and a giant on top of that, then I would have beating one bruiser. Really weird spot for tanks at the moment. They're not weak. It's just bruisers counter them very, very hard. Riot cannot nerf bruisers. Tanks will take over them. But the Riot will have to do something because it's like really messed up. So that's the position tanks are in at the moment. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Alright guys, I've been playing Scion quite a lot lately. I did one yesterday and now I play another Scion game. I think I need to tone it down a bit. But it's not gonna be fun, I already know how this game is gonna- Like, I know how the game is gonna go before it even starts. Five deaths before I'm, re I'm reaching level six. I'll somehow get a kill, I'll make a bit of a comeback. I'll just catch waves throughout the entire game. And then eventually I win with split push. With Volibear, I can go in for a fight. I can like, hey, you wanna, you wanna mess with me? You wanna mess with the Volibear? You know, Zion, I just, you're gonna see, I'm just gonna run the entire game. I'm gonna run like a coward. Got the minion, worth. Dude, did you guys see that? Classic. <laughs> Fucking idiot, man. Oh, well, every game is just random passive kills. <laughs> like, for no reason, right? Damn, flash abusers. Oh, I hate flash. I love Krugs. Oh my god. I'm done, CS. That's okay. I'm scaling. Sun is the best scaling champion in the entire game. Undisputed. I can't proc demolish because he's already here. It's about tracking your opponent's movement, right? I've gotten very, very good at it. Knowing when the sh an enemy will be where he's gonna be at. So there I knew I couldn't proc demolish, because if I proc demolish I would have then died. I had to get safe first. No, the wave. It's fine, Olaf is proxing me. So I can like, I'm kind of fine here I think. Dying is better than recalling. Insta respawn, I lose no tempo on the map. Oh, 
Wolf end up recalling here, I wonder. If so, I can get plating. <laughs> Do a little bit of face rush running out of there. Oh, very badly played by me. Terrible ulti as well. Maybe Swiftness Boots a bit better here, now that I think about it. That's okay. Noise, good pickup. Even at this tower and then walk to this one. <laughs> I didn't expect Olaf to push so fast. Then was of course to take the crew. Whoa! Mr. Kruggy, where are you going? hard when he has ghost. Matchup looks great. Oh, the matchup. You're acting as if not every single Saiyan game goes like this. I mean, I'm surprised I uh, I said 0-5, right? I was a little bit off with my prediction here. I said 0-5. I ended up with 1-4. I actually didn't die as much as I thought I would. He has no ulti now. I'll, I'll mess with him. No ways back up. How is this ulti back up? Dude, I keep playing these champions with so long ult cooldowns. Like, I, like, I, I, to, to me, it's reasonable to think. I mean, I, I don't know people. I don't, I don't know champions cooldowns. I'm not, very, I'm not very knowledgeable in that, in that area. For me, it's reasonable to say like, oh. We, we traded ultis now. Oh, mine is not up for another 30 seconds. Surely you won't have your ulti then as well, right? That's how I think when I fight these champions. But the, their ultis just are way lower cooldown than mine. And I play Volibear as well. Now he won't have his ulti. Poggers. No, got it again. Does it have a cooldown? <laughs> for, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Close one, Talia. I feel so useless when I can't CC him. <laughs> like, <laughs> his ulti kinda counters my champ, sorry. He's permanently as well, if he keeps auto-attacking. No! <laughs> Okay, you you know what I expected from the fresh. I ulti CCS fresh lanterns. I ulti, I take lantern back to him so I'm safe, and then S really CC'd, so fresh hooks him and then into my Q. That's how I saw that one playing out, but I guess he didn't have lantern.
Yes, great, dude. Wow. Wow, two and eight. Man. Who could have predicted this this out outcome? Damn, that's crazy, dude. First time I go two and eight on this champion. Why are they all here? Why are they here? <laughs> and why? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I should just hit Q and then backed off. But I kind of thought I could fight them. But I obviously couldn't fight them. Oh wow, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna push out the, the wave and then die? And then eventually enemy team, like there comes a point where enemy team, enemy team loses their mind. And they're like, we keep killing this guy. But we're not winning. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? Baby. He should be dead here. Yeah, but basically, so what happens usually in my games is I keep I keep dying over and over again, and they keep killing me over and over again, and eventually the enemy team loses their minds. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Eventually they'll stop killing me. At the moment they stop killing me, I'll just end the game because I have demolish and I'm AD and I did a lot of damage to towers. 95% of my games go like that. No, Talia rocks. Talia rocks stuns me, man. I played a bad. I didn't even ulti. Yes, give me, give me item. The big. Prowler's claw. Been getting a lot of soli bolis with the volley. Sand strikes claw. Damn. Twenty six lethality. Holy. Olaf is grouping with you, me on on him. Olaf needs to be the one who kills me because now I put put up too much pressure on the map. So they will just lose all objectives on the map by default. Stupid Sion bug. My Q went on cooldown for several reason. Whatever, we win. Damn, guys! <laughs> like, who could have seen this one coming? Feeding my ass off into a win. Wow, that's crazy. Every game's the same, guys. Every game's the same, and it's ridiculous how I win every game. <laughs> that's what's ridiculous about it. Like, I get the whole feeding part, but I don't know how I win all games. I I kill anyone. Oi, 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 oi. Three kills in one passive. Should make a video. One, one passive, three kills. Every game is the same, guys. Just feed, feed, feed. Form a few Krugs camp. And then, well, in the end, you kill everybody in the passive. I got exhausted. <laughs> Q bug. Oh, I I hit Olaf once. Damn it! I could have been killed. But I hit Olaf. Misclicked him. <laughs> it's classic. Oi, oi, oi! Well, most of this damage, you can see Olaf did the most as well. So most of this damage is just us hitting each other. I mean, it is what it is, really. I knew I knew how the game would go before I even started the game. Like I knew I would I would die zero five and I would die a lot and then eventually a swarm and then I would enemy team would end and I would win the game. Every game's the same. It's very predictable.